The women took Jesus down from the cross, cleansed his body, anointed it with oil and perfume, and wrapped it in a fresh linen shroud. We formed a funeral procession and carried the body to a rich man's tomb, newly carved out of the living rock. Having laid Yeshua's anointed body to rest, we sealed the tomb's entrance with a heavy rolling stone. Yeshua had told us it was God's will that he would return on the third day. The authorities were so afraid of this happening that they set armed guards in front of the tomb to make sure the grave stayed securely closed. But when the women returned to the tomb on the first day of the week, they found the stone rolled aside and the tomb empty. Soon after this, Yeshua appeared to us, first near Jerusalem. Later, he came to us again, this time as he had promised, at the Sea of Galilee. We had been out fishing all night long, but we had not caught a thing. A man standing by the shore told us to cast out our nets again. Immediately they were filled with fish. Only then did we understand that it was Jesus. And he said to us, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Jerusalem, at Jerusalem. 
Oh. 